This tutorial will demonstrate the basics of searching CINAHL. CINAHL is a database that indexes many key journals in the nursing and allied health fields, and the name stands for Cumulative Index to Nursing and Allied Health Literature. It is one of many databases available from the Dalhousie Databases page. Two search methods will be highlighted, Keyword and Subject Heading Searching. You will also see how to access full text articles from CINAHL and make use of my EBSCOhost personalized folders. This tutorial has been customized for Dalhousie users with the permission of EBSCO Publishing. We will begin with keyword searching. Let's start by looking for journal articles on the known triggers for the onset of migraine headaches. First, we'll enter migraine headaches in the search box. Next, we'll enter trigger in the second box. Add an asterisk at the end of any term that may have variant endings, in this case, trigger or triggers. The asterisk is known as a truncation symbol and is very useful in keyword searching. Note that the terms will default to combine with the Boolean operator AND. A drop-down menu allows you to change the operator if necessary. The results will display below the search box. These brief citations will give you basic information with article titles, journal and author names, dates, volume numbers, etc. Also included are links to full text. We'll talk more about these later. You can go to a detailed record by clicking on the title in the citation. The detailed record has lots of useful information such as the relevant subject headings. You can click on these headings to execute a new search or use the Find Similar Results link. Both of these can lead you to more papers similar to the current one. You can narrow your results and define limits to help refine your retrieval. More options for refining your results can be found under Advanced Search. Some of the popular options are Date, and language. Remember, keyword searching will quickly find results, but you may also find a number of hits are not that relevant. This is a common problem with keyword searching as it is a very broad search method. If you encounter this problem, try searching using subject headings. The second search method will cover. Click on the CINAHL Headings link on the top toolbar to browse for appropriate subject terms. Each CINAHL citation is assigned subject terms based on article content. Searching with these terms can often retrieve more relevant results than keyword searches. Enter Migraine Headaches in the Browse box and click the Browse button. A list of CINAHL headings or subject terms appears in the next window ranked by relevancy. The closest related heading in this case is simply migraine, so we'll browse using that heading. To the right of the subject term, list is a major concept option. When this is selected, your results will only include citations where your subject is the central discussion, not just mentioned in passing. This is a great tool for focusing on the most relevant papers. You can browse the headings and select any one from the list. For example, you may prefer the broader term, vascular headache. Click on this heading to see a detailed screen. Options like the Explode feature will allow you to search several related terms all at the same time. For example, if you explode vascular headache, you will also be searching cluster, migraine, and tension headaches. In this example, we'll keep our initial term migraine and select major concept to put extra focus on the term. We are also going to use another feature called subheadings. Subheadings can improve the precision of a search. Add appropriate subheadings to your search by clicking the adjacent box. In this case, we will select the subheading etiology, which means cause. If you click on the scope link, clarification about that subheading appears in a new window. After selecting the options for the heading, click the Search Database button. The results list will give brief citations and include links to full text if available, usually in PDF or HTML format. Next, we'll talk about how to use your results list to find full text articles. Even if you do not see direct links to PDF or HTML, you can often access full text by clicking on the yellow Get It at Dal button.
This will open a new window with options such as links to online full-text copies of the article, citation information, export to RefWorks, and more. In this example, the journal article is available from a source outside CINAHL. Click the green Go button to find full text. If there is no electronic source, check in Novanet for a print version, and if that is not available, you can order the item through document delivery. All of your searching activity for the current session is recorded in the search history. You can combine different sets you previously searched, or revisit your results from previous searches in search history and alerts. Combining search terms is an excellent way to narrow down your results. Here we have searched for smoking. Check the boxes to the left of the sets you want combined and click on the search with box you prefer. From the search results page, you can print your search history so you have a record of terms you have used. You can also save your searches to your personalized folder. When you find good citations, click the add to folder link to collect results in the temporary session folder. To save results more permanently, use the My EBSCO host feature and either create or sign into your free personal account. To create a My EBSCO host account, click on Sign into My EBSCO host from the top toolbar. On the sign in page, click I'm a new user to create an account. If you forget your username or password, follow the instructions to get that information again. The icons above your folder contents will easily allow you to send the citations to the storage option of your choice. Options include printing, saving to a file, emailing, or saving your citations to RefWorks. Remember to change your results to your preferred citation style before you save, print, or email. For more information about searching CINAHL, click on the Help link to view the complete online help manual. This has been a brief introduction to searching CINAHL. If you need any assistance, please ask at our reference desk or get online assistance with our live help service. Or check out our other Libcasts on doing library research.